All right, we're here with Coach Bill Ferguson. Bill, you have quite a desk. Why don't, we, why don't you introduce him? Well, this is Michael Cooper, our esteemed women's basketball coach. And this, and this is, is Little Coop. Coop. Yeah. This is Little Coop. Mini so Coop. Talk about everyone's in a good mood this week. Obviously a great weekend for you guys with the upset of Stanford. Talk about those two wins against Pacific and Stanford. Uh, real big for us. Obviously going on the road and winning our league's huge. Um, the uh, absolute, Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Pacific match is always tough. Uh, they're a whole lot better than they have been in the last few years. And, They'll probably be in the hunt for a playoff spot coming into the league. And Stanford is is, is a real, they're an elite team, and they, they've proven that throughout the first half of the season. So for us to go on the road and get a win against an elite team in our league uh, is real big. You know, we've all, we kind of dabbled with it at the beginning of the season with the BYUs and the Irvines and all that. And now this is good for us to get a win against one of those top four teams in the league. And that takes preparation and hard work and coach having ready to go. Right, Nico? <laughs> so when yes. you look at it, we talked last week how you weren't sure what the identity of this team was at that point in the season. Now with these two games and an upset of a team like Stanford, do you have any better picture of it? Well, it, you know, it kind of muddied the waters with some of the lineups. We had a lot of guys play. Madison McKibben started uh, against Pacific and had a great match. Uh, and then uh, the second night, uh, we ended up uh, putting Tanner Jansen in for him uh, at opposite. And Tanner played fantastic. And then we Tanner was awesome. Tanner was awesome. Yeah. And then uh, we ended up putting McKibben back in at the outside, which we haven't done since uh, last year. But uh, we had talked with Maddie earlier in the day and uh, talked to our setters earlier in the day that it's something we might do so that uh, so that those guys were prepared in the instance that we needed. And Maddie came through in flying colors. Obviously, talking about Tony had a huge match against Stanford. Yeah. At this point in the season, would you say he's one of the top players in the country? Oh, without question. He's... Uh, he is one of the guys that's a player of the year candidate for sure. Um, he was MPSF and ABCA player of the week. Um, but I don't know if there's anybody really carrying the load in the league that Tony is for for our team. Uh, and he's, he's just been great all year. You know, last year you guys were the hunted. This year you guys have had an opportunity to be the hunters. How has that team embraced that role this year? I think they like it. They, uh, You know, it, we don't really look at it as being the top or being the underdog. They just... They, this team's great about going to work every day, working hard in practice, uh, improving on, on what they need to improve on and, uh, and, and getting it done. And, and these guys compete really hard and they compete really well. And you know, I talked to Robert last week and he was talking about the fact that, you know, it's our rank Rob. Rob, Bob, oh yeah, Bob, you guys call hey, him you'll Bob. Be in trouble for that. I will, yeah. I will. Mini Cooper get after you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he was talking about the fact that, you know, you guys ranking going to last week was six, but you guys could be a top three, top four team. Do you believe in that now? Yeah, I, we don't pay a whole lot of mind to it right now, just because you know, we're only you know we're just getting close to halfway through the season. There's so much yet to be done, and and basically, if you're going to look big picture, you want to look to finish in the top four of the league, get a first round uh, you know home playoff game, and then go from there. That's about it. And right. finally, you guys have Hawaii this week at home. What what's that going to be like for you? They are a top fifteen team, another team that is very competitive in the conference. How, how do you go about facing that? We're going to come out and we're going to play extremely hard. We're dedicated yeah. and our preparation will be made. And again, we're at home. Trojans don't lose at home. Is he is he coaching on the sidelines? No, you're going to be in Washington. Playing. I wish he was playing. He cut, he's <laughs> he's tall, he's long, he can sky. He's got it all, man. He was playing the wrong sport. I don't care about him. Calm down now. That was 25 years ago. <laughs> Five world championships. Come on, you could play volleyball. Still the knees and stuff. What do you think about that? You know what? Right now, we're going to leave you with Coach Ferguson, who's done a tremendous job with our men's volleyball team. I'm going to leave you with Minnie Coop, and they'll continue this interview. Thank you so much, and fight on. <laughs> Thanks, Coop. Good luck this week. Thank you. <laughs> so, Hawaii, how do you go about facing them? What do you think, Coop? Yeah, I better see what we're that. do with Hawaii. We're going to put Coop right here. Uh, we just have to stick to stick to executing the basics, you know. Um, we have to serve and pass well, and that's going to be the first thing. We've been uh, real disciplined with our block and defense, uh, and that's been a great thing for us. So uh, we're just going to we're going to keep grinding it out, working hard in practice, and uh, making sure we're steady in all facets of our game. You said this team comes to work prepared every day. How fun is it to coach a group like this? It's very fun. This has been easily the most enjoyable group I've had to coach since I've been here. Hmm. Um, you know, there's teams that have been more talented. There's teams that, you know, have had maybe more personality one way or the other. But these guys just tend, they, they like to learn. Uh, they get after it every day in practice. And they're real, 
they have a real good IQ, they're great watching video. Um, so all those little things, you know, as a coach you put in all this time do, trying to tweak these little things and, and they really buy into to, to doing these things on a daily basis, you know, whether it's a small a step in a different direction or just a little tweak with their passing platform or a, or a little difference with their arm swing. They're really into it and they, and they like to try to make change and they, and they like to improve.